Welcome to Configuring Remedy Force Service Requests. To configure a Remedy Force Service Request, click on the Remedy Force Administration tab, Configure Application Request Definition. Now we'll create a simple one today, uh, like requesting access to an application. Click New, enter the name of the service request. You'll need to select a service. In this case, we have a pre-existing uh, service called End User Services. And we'll need to create an associated offering. This is probably the most uh, complicated part of this service request configuration. Um, the offering, the service offering must be linked to the service and um, it's done by the specifications tab. Select the type um, offering and then make it a subservice of the service and that's done through the CMDB console. Then <clears throat> select a category and for this one we'll select application access and we'll also need uh, a template. We'll use a pre-configured template uh, again application access and then we'll need a request definition. Although it says service request template, it's actually a request definition template from the templates module. Okay, next we want to start an end date. Uh, we we'll want it available today and the end date sometime in the future. Uh, if the date expires, the template will become unavailable and we want to make it online. Go ahead and click Save. Click OK. For entitlement, there's the option for selected accounts and make it available to selected profiles. Uh, for today, we'll just use the default, which is all. For display options, there are certain prompts that you can present to the user, like date expected, when do they need it, how many do they need, and then they can, uh, when they submit the service request, they can enter that information. You can also do custom input. In this case, we'll select, uh, we'll let them enter the name of the application. We'll do a text area and we'll call it uh, Enter Application Name. And we'll make this required and we click Save, click OK. And if you want any additional user instructions, you can enter them here. Uh, then we'll put Fulfillment. So this is where we can add additional templates uh, above and beyond the ones we selected for on general information. Um, these are sometimes helpful if you need that there are certain tasks associated with creating the request definition. Also, um, we can map the fields over. So we'll select the request definition template inner application name and we're going to want to map that uh, to the incident description. So we'll click that and map to input field and then we'll click Save. Okay. So now let's go to um, self-service and see if the service request is available. We'll right-click Remedy for self-service, open a new tab, click Request to Service, and it's under Application Access, and there's our application request. So we want to enter Office 365, and we want one, and we'll click Submit. There we go. So this concludes our Configuring Remedy Force service request.
thank you.